999, please state your emergency. I need a car that's near Ashley Park. Do we have a car near Ashley? Yeah, we're a few minutes away. We could be a go for Ashley. Just had a call in from 36. Neighbor saying she heard screams coming from the Miller house. Yeah, well, that's a Friday night in the Miller house. Come on, you know how this goes. Take a look at her. Now she's bruised. We cough him, put him in. In the drunk tank, in the drunk tank. What do we do with the son? He's probably with the others at the town hall. Keep a unit outside the house until he gets home. No sense in ruining his night. Alright, got you covered. We're all over it. She had taken her retirement when I had the chance. This was a woman with a lot of sadness in her eyes, let me tell you. Hardly surprising. You beat the shit out of her. We're not done in there yet. Any for your thoughts? Where's the son? Tommy? Nobody in the house when we arrived. Not like India Walton. Don't do emotion well. You're doing the talking when we tell him about this? Something tells me he already knows. Beg your pardon? We need to find Tommy. The town hall? What? The party at the town hall. That's where the kids are. Hey, Ryan. Fuck me. So I was thinking about, you know, why I'm going to university in Edinburgh next year. Right, right, yeah. Well, um, it'd be great to have a hot Scottish boyfriend and that, but uh, I don't want my first time to be with someone who sounds like Mel Gibson from Braveheart, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I think I do. But, you know, at least there'd be loads of fellas here that'd be willing to give you the send-off that you deserve. Anyone in particular? Marcus? Yeah, uh, Marcus seems to really like you. Excuse me. Oh, as if. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have wrecked it. Ryan... We're at a party. Let's just... Forget about it. Really? Really. Okay. Come with me a second. Look. I know the way a lot of them say that long distance doesn't work, and I'm not trying to put any pressure on you, I'm really not, it's just, if you want a way out, you have it. Ryan, I don't want an out. I want this. I want all of this. We'll make it work. Yeah, we will. Unless Elise gets away. Oh no, don't don't worry about her. I brushed her off. Besides, she has so many STIs they need a new alphabet. <laughs> Come on, we'll go enjoy the party. In a minute. Did the music just stop? Yeah, I know, right? Why? Well, I don't know. 
Wait here a second. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh shit! Holy shit! What is it? Come on, I just need you to be quiet, okay? Just I don't quiet. Know what's Shh. You okay? Listen, we're gonna send you both home tonight. And tomorrow, you're gonna have to make some statements. Mommy! <laughs> How you doing? Who did this, detective? Tommy Miller. You got Walton? Walton, we got him. I think we have it. What? Someone in the dark hood. We got a few calls. Oh, fuck. Where? He's heading past Bunker Hill, heading into the woods. All right, I'll be there. Listen, I want that place surrounded with cars. Do you hear me? Keep those radios turned on. It's one minute past nine and you're listening to KAB 102.7. I'm Cora Burks, and very soon, the governor of the airways, Mr. Noel Dixon, will be taking you right through to the witching hour. Next caller. Okay, caller, you're on the air. Cora, you've been on the air almost three hours now, and we haven't heard tell of it once. This weekend is the 10th anniversary of Tommy Miller's spree. Why are you still in town? I mean, do I need to remind you that they never even found his body, Cora? You know what? I don't have to listen to this. Hey, I'm just trying to look out for you. Next caller. Okay, Audrey, you're on the air. How can I help? Cora? Cora? Cora, please help me! Audrey? Help me, Cora! Help me! It's gonna hurt me! Help Audrey, me. what's going on? It's Tommy! It's Tommy! Tommy Miller! Ah! <laughs> Happy anniversary, Cora! Well, we don't want callers like this on this show, do we, Noel? No, we don't. And I'd just like to ask Audrey and those who might be laughing along with her. How would you feel, Audrey, if I put you on the line with the families of those victims? You wouldn't be so smug then, would you? You absolutely disgust me. Anyway, uh, 
I do apologise for ending the show on such a sour note, but as I said, Noel Dixon will be here to take you right through until midnight, and I'm Cora Burks. Until next time. Cora, I'm so sorry. We've been screaming all night, and I don't know what happened. Not your fault, Stephen. It is the anniversary. What can I say? Yeah, well, I'll be back on Monday, and everything will be calmed down. Yeah? Yeah, until then, I have a three-day appointment with my quilt covers. See you later. Do you think she sleeps with a gun under her pillow? I don't know, but one man sliding in a friend and I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if it's about your car, I told you I needed to take it tonight. Are you out of your mind? Maybe you don't care about embarrassing yourself on the radio, but you have a sister that has to go to school tomorrow. I've had to live under the Tommy Miller car too, you know. <sighs> take it easy, will you? I doubt many of your friends listen to the radio anymore, Annabelle. This is bullshit! Everyone's going to be staring at me and talking about my psycho sister. Hey, shut up. Who do you think you are, Annabelle? You have no idea how tough this weekend is for me. And what about me? Do you not realise this is hard for me too and the stigma of this whole shitty thing? Well, I tell you what, if you don't like the stigma of this whole thing, why don't you just move back in with Mum, huh? If you can't deal with real life. Oh, get over yourself, Cora. I didn't... <sighs> Fuck! down here I want to talk to you. Annabelle! Annabelle! Let me in. Let me in or I'm going to open the door. Annabelle, I know you're not sleeping. Look, I'm sorry I shouted at you. I, I didn't mean to. But you were cheeky too. I mean, you know how hard this weekend is for me. It's the same every year. I know it isn't fair that you have to put up with it too. You just have to be patient with me. I'm sorry about what I said about making you move back in with Mum. You can stay here if you want. Are we okay? <sighs> Annabelle, come on. I mean, what more do you want me to say? Annabelle! <laughs>
there's money in the safe. Steve and the elder from next door have the spare key. And you know, if you need me, just to ring the Rangers. Okay, yeah. I'd be safe. Same goes. I can look after myself. I'm an old heart. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay with me going? Yes. No, go. Go enjoy yourself. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. <laughs> I'm going hiking! <laughs> the attacks happened shortly after 11pm last night. The police have yet to release any more information other than the victims' names. A press conference is scheduled in the coming hours. The victims, both Annabelle and Cora Burks, were siblings, with Annabelle being a student at Braxton Community College. What have we got, Holland? It's not a pretty sight, Ryan. Hope you didn't have a strong breakfast. It looks like most of the wounds were inflicted post-mortem. Okay. Uh, let's get them covered up. Sheets. Sheets, please. I'm sorry, Cora. Fucking press are driving me nuts. They keep asking me questions. They're curious. They think they have a right to know. I can't say I blame them. Do I know you? The name's Gilbert. Well, Gilbert. The affiliates up at Glendale sent me. I'm your new partner. As if being a detective wasn't tragic enough, you had to come to Braxton. Yeah, well, I headed a big uh, investigation up there. Sick bastard was kidnapping and killing college kids. Torturing them. Glendale Ripper? Yeah, I read about that. Did you catch the guy? Not even close. Bastard's still roaming. I asked for a transfer. I wanted some place more quiet. I don't know what kind of travel brochures you read, Detective, but this place is far from quiet. You ever heard of Tommy Miller? The Braxton Butcher? Who hasn't? I started uni when it all happened. There was a kid from Braxton up there, he was telling us all about it. How do you think we're going to find him? You think this was Tommy? You think it wasn't? Don't know. Can we get them covered up, please? Are you all right? Come on. So the killer escapes somehow manages to keep track of time, decides he can't contain his rage any longer and comes back and hacks up a few more unsuspecting individuals. It makes perfect sense. I mean, you can talk about copycats all you like, but no self-respecting copycat would wait exactly 10 years. It's asking to be caught. I knew her. What? The girl. The older girl, Cora, I knew her. When? Back in school. We dated. We tried. We had a relationship. We left school, it didn't work out, but we had a relationship. She was in the hall that night. I was in the hall that night. Look, I arrived a week ago and they dumped me here. I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but you need to hand this over if you're asking me. If you're telling me you and that girl had a thing, then you're too close to this. And on top of that, 
If Tommy Miller's back, then he could be targeting you. He could be finishing what he started. He killed the sister too, Will. She was 17. He's not finishing what he started. Starting a whole new chapter. This has happened. Caitlin, you scared me. Oh, I'm really sorry. Just talk about a crazy morning. Really? You working on an article or something? Well, duh. Have you not been watching the news? The school paper wants to run a front page article on Annabelle, so I'm just trying to put an article together before that. Slag Maisie West. Beats me to it. Oh, can I make a comment? Just offer my condolences. Ugh. What? No, I've just been getting that all day. Caitlin, the girl just died. This was somebody's life. I know, I know. But as everyone afraid to admit, she was sort of a bit of a bitch. Caitlin! What, she was? Notwithstanding, her body isn't even cold yet, Caitlin. Come on. Right, okay, you're right. Bad taste. It's no go area. But what do you think about today's other hot topic? Do you think Tommy Miller is back to stalk the streets of Braxton once again? You know, Caitlin, I have to be somewhere else. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll catch you later on then. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, he's back. The butcher is back. Well, you could always stay inside the closet if you're so worried. Wow, so funny. Could you do me a favor and pick up my sides for me? They're just splitting. Well, I've got nothing to worry about. Check out the guns. Witness the fitness people, pure steel. Uh, Seamus balls are the size of peas. Oh, I'm sure you would love to find out, wouldn't you? Seriously, though, do you take steroids? No. <laughs> do I take steroids? I'm serious. Well, I believe you, babe. Ah, but you don't count. You have to believe me. Let me tell you something, Ethan. The sooner you start pumping some Ron, the better. Uh, I pump plenty of Ron, thank you. Ow! Not fair, I wasn't ready for that. Living up to what they call you in the changing rooms, yeah? What do they call me in the changing rooms? Nothing. It's nothing. Hey, bitch, what took you so long? Uh, I'm running to kill him. Uh, girl fucking wrecks me. Give her a break. I've heard she's having a hard time getting into university. She thinks she has some because she writes that stupid blog. Nobody even reads it. I read it. I read it too, but it's just to make sure I'm not on it. She's the Perez, held under the Braxton youth. She's a catty bitch, that's what she is. Can we please get back to the subject at hand? I mean, if Miller has come back, then why now? It just doesn't make any sense. More cheery topic? A fellow student savagely killed last night, and you want to talk about something else? I mean, come on! The canteen hasn't been this buzzing ever since they started putting curry on the chips. Well, if you want my opinion, you'll be thrilled to know that I actually agree. I mean, I watch a lot of crime investigation, and it makes sense. Thank you. Mark my words. It won't be long before Miller's roaming the streets again in search of some new blood. Yeah, well, I've got my fella. Couples never die. I'm her lobster. Mm, just don't have sex. Hey, Julie, saw your uncle on the TV this morning? Yeah, I saw him too. He's your uncle. He's a policeman. He's investigating the murders. Yeah, well, do us a favour. Tell him not to go cancelling the party tomorrow night. Yeah, um, I don't think you are going to that party, Julie. I forbid you not to go. My mum away this weekend, and... Even more reason, then. Why would you want to be home alone on the most dangerous night in Braxton's history? Foolish. Foolish girl. Foolish girls die. Butcher's next victim. Right here. Did I hear somebody say butcher? Sorry, I couldn't help but overhear him because I was uh, trying to... You guys are talking about Tommy Miller. You're a junior. You can't just sit at our table. Uh, that's really weird because I think I just did. Where's your little fuck chum today then? Okay, so Connor's and deck was one thing, but fuck chums. Oh good, you're here. Beavis was starting to worry. We prefer the term heterosexual life partners. So, how are the Braxton seniors this fine day? Are you quote unquote shitting them for your safety? You're sitting at our table. Should you not be, quote, unquote, shitting them for your safety? Is that a threat, Mr. Anderson? I think he threatened us, Ronald. Certainly sounded like one. Yeah, it was a threat. Fucking asshole. Oliver. Come on, Oliver. You didn't need to do that. What? Felt good. Name and shamed, Henderson. Name and shamed. Grab me latte. Guys. Hi, Oliver. Claudia. 
Did you want something for me? Just wanted to say hello. I don't know if it's the whole murder thing, but I'm feeling very giving today. Yeah, you're always giving. What was that? I said it's always nice to be given. That's a nice jacket, Alicia. I used to have one in red, but I give it in to Warren Want. So, what's the talk of the table? I'll be back in a minute. You were just talking about the murder last night. Oh, I know, tragic. My dad was freaking out this morning. He was like, Claudia, babes, you need to be so careful because you're so beautiful. And that would just rub a lot of people up the wrong way. Hey, Danny. Julie. Having fun? Julie, wait. Julie, wait. Look, you haven't spoken to me in three weeks. If you could just... You said we needed a break. You said you needed a break. We needed to keep our distance for a while. Now you're going out with Claudia. Look, I didn't think you wanted to be with me anymore. I mean, one minute we were fine and then... And then we weren't fine. Look, things just got awkward. That's why you talk, Danny. You tell me these things so we can work on them. You don't just start running around with a school hag. Can we please just leave the past in the past? I mean, after everything that happened with Michael and... No. Don't you dare bring Michael into this. You know, they say death brings out the best and the worst in people. And Michael's death. Christ, did it bring out the worst in you? You didn't even go to his funeral, Danny. Our... Our best friend kills himself and you didn't even go to his funeral. I mean, I don't know how many times I had to tell you that there was nothing going on between me and Michael. I know. And I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry every day. I don't know what else to say. You don't have to say anything, Danny. I just wanted to see the look in your eyes when I tell you that you mean nothing to me. Not anymore. What'd you do your night, dumbass? Just fucking leave her alone. I don't know how you're all thinking about this. I don't know what you're feeling. As an adult, I don't know what to think or feel. Annabelle was a lovely young lady. She was lovely. Younger, when she was a child, she was a lovely child. I don't know how you're going to rationalise it. How you're going to feel about the loss of, of one of your friends. Ethan, I know that you and she were good friends. I've seen you together occasionally. Oliver, I know that you and she used to be quite friendly. If there are problems, if there are worries, if there are questions or queries, please ask. Yes, Paul? Mr. Jackson, like her? It's my fault. I shouldn't have even gone near him. I just need to stop feeling sorry for myself. I'm just so angry at him. It's all right to be angry. And I mean, I know you're upset now, but venting it all here, that's gonna make you feel better, okay? Claudia's a bitch. She'll dump him like last week's Chinese. You know she will. She's a fucking slut. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm good. Okay. You went to the Miller house? Yeah. 
It's as deserted as it's ever been. Save for a cult ritual or two. Maybe he's checked himself into a Holiday Inn somewhere. Thankfully, our day isn't a total bust. Oh yeah? We found something in our victim's garden. What did we find? Is there any DNA on it? No. It's clean. Look familiar? This is the, uh... It's the mask that he wore that night. Does this leave us to assume he's off picking himself up a new one? Right, this can't be leaked to the press, okay? If they get a hold of this... If Tommy Muller is back and the press get a hold of this, then it's going to be my ass on a plate. So let's just... We'll keep working it, yeah? The minute I begin to think he's targeting you, I'm requesting a new partner and you're skipping town. You're not a bad partner, Will. Give me time. You're giving me a lift. Are you going to talk to me or what? What were you saying to her? Nothing. It wasn't nothing. You were talking to her about something. I'm not stupid. Don't treat me like I'm some sort of idiot, Donny. Hope you made it clear to her that you're with me now. I think you did that yourself. <laughs> I mean, come on. All this arm and arm shit. People haven't done that in a hundred years. Are you trying to say you're embarrassed by me or something? Because I don't need you, Donnie. I won't be little miss, desperate girlfriend, chasing after you every waking minute of the day, trying to see if you're looking at another girl. I've got a thousand fellas looking in my direction. And who's looking in yours? Damaged goods. Damaged fucking goods, that's who. Do you want to call her that again? Go on. Call her again. Oh, fuck you. Then sort yourself out. And don't even think about phoning me again. For at least a week. Yeah, we skiing in the Alps. I know. They've got the life of it. Okay, bye. Whether or not the man known as Tommy Miller has returned to Braxton remains to be seen. Although sources close to the Braxton... Braxton Bitcher? Yeah, right.
getting ratty. Where are you going? I'm going to the Pauls. Do mum and dad know? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So if I was to phone mum and dad right now and tell them you were going to Pauls, they'd be fine with it? If he rang you right now, you'd be a dick. Get back into your pyjamas, Laura. You're staying in. I oh, piss off, Alicia. Laura, it's dangerous out there. Paul's got to pick him up. I leave my home. So just chill. It's one night. Can you not just stay in? I'll be back at half eleven. You fucking better be. Do you have money? Yes. Stay safe. Yeah, yeah. You too. I need a pole. Hi, um, this is probably going to sound a bit weird, but there was this man, guy, standing outside my house a while ago and I think he was wearing some kind of mask. <sighs> is this a joke, miss? Because we got... No, no, it's not a joke. I wouldn't do that. It's just... He was staring in at me. Did you have a light on? Well, yeah, but I turned it off. Well, no, but he was just stern in. Well, right now I don't know if there's a lot we can do for you down here. I mean, I'm able to put it down, and we could send a carrot, but it's pretty full on tonight. Are you home alone? Yes, well, no, I mean, I have a sister and I guess she'll be home later. All right, well, don't be panicking. We have a few strange ones here, but most of them are harmless, you know? We can bring some out, especially this weekend. Yeah. You're probably right. But what about... Don't let last night make you nervous. We're treating it as an isolated incident. We had a lot of people using it for pranks tonight. Sad, but it's true. Yeah, you're probably right. You know the number to call if you're worried? Yeah. Where are you? Ashley Park. Ashley Park? We've got cards there all night. You've nothing to worry about. Look, you're doing the right thing. You're inside. Just keep the doors and windows shut. All right. Thanks. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.
hung up on her. You gotta put her in the spank bank and move on. I don't want to move on. I want to get her back. Uh, I think you're forgetting a very significant slutty obstacle. What? You're already seeing Claudia, you twat. Yeah, well, don't know about that anymore. Another fight? Guess you could say that. You see, you see, your thirst for Julie has caused problems in your relationship with Claudia. You had your chance with Julie, and you blew it. Do you want to crawl home, Ethan? Here, you were with her right until Michael died, right? Yeah. Well, we broke up right after he died. And why did you split up? I don't know. We're both going through a lot and... Eh, eh. It's not even on the board, Les. You and Julie broke up because of your paranoia. Right, hold on, Ethan. I was there, Danny. Ollie was there too. But I don't know how many times we had to tell you that there was nothing going on between Julie and Michael. They were friends. That's all. Julie loved you. I know. I know that now. I mean, I guess you might still have a chance. What do you mean? I mean, for things to go back to the way they were? Yeah. You need to remind her of a happier time. Sure you've changed, but you're willing to change. Do that, and you might just get her back. How do you not have a girlfriend? I, uh, I spoke to Michael's parents the other day. Yeah? How are they? As expected. His mum... I don't think she'll ever be the same. What about you? How are you keeping? Yeah. No coke or heroin use to shit. Good. <laughs> I just worry. That's all. I know you do, and it's sweet. And I know that if I ever need to talk, my hotshot detective uncle is just a phone call away. How are you? Today couldn't have been easy. It wasn't. But I guess the term occupational hazard applies. How do you reconcile it? I mean, all the things you've seen. How do you convince yourself it's just work? You can't. And if you can, you're doing something wrong. Can I ask you a question? Shit. Do you really think he's back? Honestly, I don't know. But if he is... I'll be ready for him. <laughs> Sorry about this. You've got Fenton, go ahead. Fenton, we need you over at Ashley Park. It's number 11. It looks like another stabbing. Ashley? That, that's Alicia's house. Who? Ask, ask about the victim. What have we got on the victim? It's another girl, Finn. It's bad. It's really bad, Ryan. Jesus Christ. Wait here.
neighbours called it in. They heard screaming. And the door was open when we got here. Don't tell me what I think you're going to tell me. It's the same deal, Fenton. Fenton, you know how they say, there's some things you can't unsee. Looks like Tommy hasn't lost his touch. She's 17. Jesus Christ, she's 17. You were right. He's opening up another chapter. This isn't just a guessing game anymore, is it, Fenton? Tommy Miller's back for the kids in this town. Detectives, you might want to come take a look at this. Hey, Julie. Hey, Kitten. I'm so sorry. I know you're close. When is this going to end? You're going home. You're going home, you're packing some stuff and you're getting the fuck out of here. If he fucking wants me. If he wants to kill me, I'm right here. He's fucking with me. That's all this is. How far does this have to go, Ryan? Holy shit, did you see that back there? Scoop! You know what this could do for university application? We're like this generation's Woodward and Bernstein. I know, right? <laughs> Fuck, Caitlin. Amateurs? First rule of journalism, guys, always beware who's listening. I don't think Woodward and Bernstein would have been talking that loud. Please. You won't be so smug when we catch Miller. And just how do you plan on doing that? Ringing up his agent and setting up a wee sit-down interview? Make fun all you want. We'll be the ones to crack this case before anyone else. Uh-huh. So, which one is just Frank and which one is Joe? Oh, so you know Woodward and Bernstein, but you don't know the Hardy Brothers? Ugh, 
Okay, the point is real journalism, guys. Maybe we should have a go at it. <laughs> and I suppose you know all about real journalism. Sorry, um, how many university offers have you gotten again? Dig. See, you can act as cool as you want, Caitlin. We know you're shaking in your boots. You're scared somebody else is gonna get the scoop before you. Ooh, care to make a wager on that? No, nah, we don't like the wager, Caitlin. Sounds like you're scared. Ronnie, I've got you by the short and curlies. And I am not letting go. Good luck, boys. May the best man win. <laughs> Did you just call yourself a man? <laughs> Owned. <laughs> She was right here, just like you and me. It shouldn't have been Alicia. It shouldn't have been anyone, Julie. Do you really think he's back? I don't know. I don't know about you, but I'm scared, Danny. You don't need to be scared. Look, like, you know I'm here for you no matter what. You sure about that? Can we please just have one civilised conversation? I mean, for fuck's sake, Julie. You know me better than anyone. Look, me and you were friends before you even knew who Sarah was. Me and Michael. You really care about me? Of course I do. Do you want to be with me? Yeah. Watching you? Yeah. What do you mean like that creepy pervert next door? What's his name? Mr. Brown. Tried to get in a taxi with me one night when I was leaving yours. No thanks. It's weird. You're just on hyper alert after your friend's untimely death. It's happening to all of us. I nearly took my makeup table out last night thinking it was Tommy fucking Miller. Turns out my mum had just moved it. I guess you're right. Now let's just have a nice quiet day. Get ready for the party. Sarah. Julie, come on. If there's one thing you need right now, it's release. Just release. Breathe. Feel all the positive energy coming into your system. It'll be fun. Remember fun? Before all the murder when there was fun? Who you gonna trust? Come on, you. Down straight. Do you really think Alicia wants you sitting around here moping about her? Well, actually she probably would. But you know what I mean. It's the town hall party. It's like our Oscars, but with less plastic surgery and deodorant. What do you say? And so in closing, in spite of recent events, I would just like to say, the butcher is dead. And no, he's not a coming back. What's that? He's behind me. Oh, no, he isn't. No, he isn't. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Cut, stop. What the hell was that? What? I thought that was the best one yet. There was no build-up, no excitement. It was two, scream three. It needs to be more, scream two. A less intelligent person would say you're getting obsessive. Well, that's why they're less intelligent. Back to one. Look. We shouldn't do this anymore. You're cutting me off? Sarah loves me. And I'm pretty sure I love her too. 
that's sweet. I mean, we're both in unhappy relationships, Oliver. You know that as well as I do. No, I don't. I think I'm in love. I think I love Sarah. You're a sportsman. You've no idea what love is. You kick a ball around a pitch and people love you for it. But come on, let's be real. You deserve to be with someone a bit more highbrow than Sarah. So that's all you see me as, huh? A fucking sportsman? Don't get all mature on me, Oliver. How do you not feel bad? I mean, you're the one who's going behind Danny's back. Do you feel guilty at all? Well, I'm not going to slip my wrists over it. No. You see, that's where me and you are different, Claudia. I'm human. But you... are the fucking Antichrist. For the record, I dumped you. We're over, Claudia. Get over it. What? What do you want? <gasps> Jesus Christ, Caitlin. Hi, Claudia. You could be an assassin in those charity shop shoes. Was that Oliver I saw you talking to there? What? Oh. Yeah, yeah, we just met up for a shit chat, you know? Nothing major. Talking about the party tonight? Guess I'll see you there then? You're invited? I mean... You're going. <sighs> I couldn't miss the social event of the season, could I? <sighs> hey, could you do me a favor? If you see me there tonight, don't come near me. Gotcha. Well? What? I think I buried my Aunt Gwen on something similar to what you burn. You don't like it? It's fuck ugly. <laughs> right, come on, let's go. This is a report from the night 2004. Sorry it took so long, but Walden, he signed it off. Thanks, Deputy. How are you getting on with the school kids in there? Uh, not too bad. They're freaked out, as you'd expect, but we'll get there. There's a party in the town hall tonight. Do you know anything about it? Yeah, we've been taking flyers down all day. Do you want us to swing by and cordon it off or anything? No. Stake it out. We'll have units patrolling the area all night, so if he shows up, We'll find him. Just make sure everybody stays safe. Yeah. Yeah. I can do that. Good man. Cheers. Hello, Mary. Yeah, it's Ryan Fenton here. I need you to hunt down a number for me. How have the press been treating you? As expected. The name Tommy Miller reads like currency to them. Can't imagine you envy my position. No. Must have booked that one, I guess. So how's the retired life been treating you? Spend your mornings learning woodwork? Your afternoons polishing your golf shoes? What's eating you, Ryan? Am I missing something, Fred? What do you mean? I mean, I've been to the house, and I've read your reports. I feel like there's an answer right in front of me and I can't see it, you know? These killings, they're, they're methodical. He's, he's taking his time, he's making people suffer. Why? Like you were at the hall. It was a spree, he snapped. Why all of a sudden has he decided to hone his craft? It's just these killings, they don't seem like Tommy Miller. 
Why Cora? Why Cora and not me? It, it doesn't make any sense. Am I missing something, Fred? What happened after the hall that night? If I break an oath I took a long time ago, I need you to promise me you'll never repeat a word of this to anyone. Ryan every time he's got secrets, Braxton's no exception. And Tommy Miller didn't escape that night. What are you talking about? Ten years ago, he didn't escape. He didn't disappear. Me and a squad of guys, we chased him in the woods. We caught up with him. He fell. When we saw his face, it wasn't the face of a murderer. It's the face of a child. A defenseless, misguided child. With an abusive father, and an alcoholic mother. And yes, there was a pile of bodies building up, but he was, he was defenseless. But one of the guys, his daughter was in the hall that night. He fired one shot into Tommy Miller's head, blew the back of his brains out. But how would the town react? How would the community react? We couldn't risk it. We took him over there to Goose Creek. We buried the evidence. When we came back to town, everybody thought Tommy Miller disappeared, roaming the woods. Jesus, Fred. I don't know who's committing these murders, and I don't know why, but it's not Tommy Miller. You lied to the very people that you swore to protect? We're protecting the town. You lied to me! And now the bodies are piling up left, right and centre because of your fucking mess. And now I have to clean up your fucking mess! I suggest you prepare a statement.
chances that somebody thought to bring food. 50 pizzas to the town hall. How's my heart? Uh, you can land a plane on it. Perfect. Ah, oh, ladies, ladies, beautiful ladies. Oh, look, even the gypsies are here. Nice, no, Sarah, there's no need to talk about your family like that. Sure, we're all here to have a good time. If I give a shit, I go for a comeback. Have you seen Oliver? Uh, no, I haven't seen him, actually. Great, just great. He's not answering his phone. Uh, sure, you know what he's like. He spends forever on his hair. Ah, Dean, Ronnie. Glad to see the Joker brothers could make it. To me, to you. No? Is that supposed to be in your hair? <laughs> nice try. Where's the costume? Right where I left it. Fucking yeah. the interruption. If I could just have your attention for a moment. Well, first of all, I know what you're all thinking, and you're right. This is the dress from the House of Fraser window. How much was it? 600? Get out of here! <laughs> anyway, I know we're all here for fun tonight, but I would just like to let you all know the owners of the halls have instilled a few house rules. Rule number one, no underage drinking. If you don't have a really good time! I, uh, I threw that one at myself. Okay, well, let's party! Okay, this is Deputy Holland here, just at the town hall. I'm going to check things out and report back in a little while. Still going for that uh, 90s goth look? Very grunge chic. Still beats tart chic. No need to be bitter. Bitter? You know, it's hard being single and all. I've been there myself. It's hard. You think just because I don't have a guy on my arm, I'm deformed? <sighs> think what you want, honey. Wipe me. You need a break. Mate, have you seen what the grand prize is? No, what? A fucking iPod touch. Now wipe. Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh, is is this a moment? I mean, uh, yeah. Ethan? Uh, nah, mate. It's too early. Don't kiss her yet. Good party? Yeah, it's... it's good. Where's your friend? She's away off looking for Oliver. Alright. So, do you want a drink or something? Yeah. Fenton. It's Gilbert. What is it? Did you hear about this party that's happening in the town hall? 
Yeah, the kids do it every year. I tried to stop them, but I guess bad taste prevailed. I sent Holland out. Fenton? Yeah? Where'd you go? Listen, I'm out of town. Um, I'll meet you at the town hall in an hour. I have to talk to you about something. Yeah. All right, yeah. You know you were at 11 minutes, sir, without an argument. I think that's a new record. Maybe he's not that bad after all. I'm sorry. Did you just say what I think you just said? All right, don't rub it in. Did you just open up to the possibility of liking Danny? Let's not overdo it. To err as human. To forgive divine. Hi, sir. Hi, Sally. Can I talk to you for a wee second? Yeah, OK. What is Sally the Sailor doing talking to Sarah? I don't know. I was at the cafe earlier and I saw Oliver there. He was with Claudia. Sally, what happened? Oliver! Oliver, it's too early for one of your perverted games. Oh, come on, for God's sake, so I'm going back inside. What are you doing, Claudia? Caitlin! When did you get pretty? You're here to see him, Margie. Who? Hey, don't play dumb with me. I know you've been going behind Danny's back, and frankly, I think you're a bit of a slut. Big talk for a girl with no proof. But then again, making up lies based on nothing is something you do best, right? It's also why I've got a grand total of zero friends. I would rather have zero friends than every STI. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, my readers love that. You're done, Claudia. No more reunions, no more parties, no more boyfriends. Mm -mm. I don't even want to hear Claudia, no. Caitlin. What are you gonna beg? No, you want to fuck Caitlin, watch out. Let me in. I don't want to talk to anyone, Julie. You're better than this. You're better than him. He's fucking moonbeam. You know that. Don't let him get the better of you. Don't let Claudia get the better of you. Now come on. Open the door.
get out of here soon. Just want to head back to mine. Look, I don't want to be alone tonight. And you can't be alone. Hey guys. Where were you? Just been out a walk. It's roasting inside. You alright, sir? Yeah, I'm fine, Danny. I'll be fine. Looks like we're only the second most messed up couple tonight, eh? No, you're stubborn. So where are you going? We're just gonna head home. She's not really up for partying. So I'll drive you? No. Really? It's alright. Julie, I'll drive you. Coast is clear. Remind me why we're doing this now. It's not even midnight yet. Sorry, do you want Caitlin Vory to get the scoop before us? You want that abnormally tall spinster to get in the way of us becoming legends? It's our story, not hers, Dean. Whatever. Look, never question an artist. Now go get ready. Ready? Buzzing. In my heart. Beating like a dubstep remix, right? I'm liking the mask. It makes it look taller. Ready? Method. I like it. Do you know, come to think about it, I don't think I saw Oliver at all tonight. Neither did I. Maybe something's happened to him. One can only hope. Excuse me, excuse me. Ronnie Whitlock here. Sure, Mr. Did you know me? I know your mom. Anyway. In spite of recent events, I think I speak on behalf of everyone when I say the butcher is dead, dead and buried, and no, he's not a coming back. I'm serious. What's that? He's behind me. He's what? He's behind me. Oh no, I'm so surprised. Margaret's actually different. Single. What's your Wi-Fi password again? You alright? As good as can be expected. What about you? Your love life seems to be looking up. Maybe. We'll see. You might want to record this. I'm only going to say it once. What? You could do a lot worse than Danny Doherty. Right. Or do you keep your hard liquor? Garage. Sweet! That's weird. What? Danny's not answering his phone. He's driving. He's got Bluetooth. I guess you're right.
Well, I left the door open. Why'd you lock it? You knew it was in the garage. I didn't lock it. You must have the keys right. Well, it was right there. going on? Are you okay? You're a cop, right? What's happened to you? Why are you covered in blood? It's Tommy Miller. It's Tommy Miller. She's, she's dying. Who? Who is dying? Inside the hall. Oh, shit. All right, listen. I need you to go over to my car and reach inside. There's a radio on the driver's seat. Pick it up and call for dispatch. Claudia? Claudia, are you there? with the place. <laughs> Sorry about the wait. Cutting it fine. Thought we might have to change plans there for a bit. I wouldn't worry about it. We're not doing too bad.
So this must be Julie. In the flesh. Nice to meet you. I've been working with your uncle for a while, actually. He's a good cop. <laughs> Calm down. It'll be over as quick. And with this little pain as possible. Out with the old. In with the new, eh? <laughs> I mean... Technically, he should have died a long time ago, but... But we gave him a... A stay of execution, I guess you could say. Fenton. Fenton, where are you? I'm on my way to the hall, why? I'm here now. We need you here. It's not good. I'm so sorry, Ryan. What is it? Please. Just hurry. Joy. Almost showtime, Kitty. Ready to be the final girl? I was born ready. <clears throat> He's back, Julie. Tommy Miller. He's back for the kids of this time. And he's got them. He's got them all. I can't imagine you'd know how it feels. Growing up feeling like a freak. I do. People making little jokes behind your back. Putting you down to make themselves feel better. No wonder he cut them into a thousand tiny pieces. I mean, I get it. I get him. I've always got him. Have you been to his house, Julie? It's a pretty creepy place. I used to go there all the time. Find this. This is kind of my Bible. After reading this, I realized I didn't just understand him. I was meant to be him. I mean, this thing read like a fucking instruction manual. I clung on to the hope that someday he'd come back. But then that got a little old. You see, I need him. Necessity is the mother of invention, Julie. And so I decided Tommy Miller would live on. And I would carry on his legacy. Not with a little help, of course. So the two of you are in this together? Pretty much. We met online. Kind of a Facebook for freaks. He has the sexiest profile picture. Stop it, you. You'd have died. We don't have any revenge motives. Daddy issues. Murder's fun, Julie. Chopping through Glendale was one thing, but Braxton, a mass murdering, all you can eat buffet. So when the three of us got together, it just clicked. The three of you? Oh, shit. That's right. I almost forgot about our proverbial third man. Ladies and gentlemen, please, will you kindly welcome to the 
arena. Killer number three. Daddy! Daddy! No! You're gonna have to watch the one you love die right in front of your eyes. It's like a fucked up Italian opera. Julie! Julie, it'll be alright. Julie, listen! Julie, yeah, got me pretty good back there at the house. <laughs> Think you're a bit tougher than we gave you credit for. Mm. <laughs> so, Sarah, 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 that fucking slut. <sighs> Always with the little jokes. No better than her Neanderthal boyfriend. <sighs> you okay, Caitlin Bibbs? Want me to take over? I'm hanging in. How about you, Jules? Look, I know you probably really want to blame me right now, but you've got to understand. It's not me. It's the man, the myth that is Tommy Miller. And I mean, I'll be sorry for your family and everything, but for our plan to work, you're perfect. So you're gonna die. Sometimes bad things have to happen to good people. But think about what it'll do for your fame. You'll be more famous in death than in life. Just like all legends. Oh, where's my true Julie? I really did. Maybe in another universe where there was no Tommy Miller and I wasn't, you know, so fucked up. Could have worked. I just... This quaint, picturesque life we lead. Suburban bliss? Who needs it? I didn't think you were one of, one of them. Those pleasure-seeking dingbats. I took pleasure in killing every last one of them, Jules. I can't lie to you. And don't get me wrong, I'm gonna enjoy killing you, but I really hoped you'd be different. It's a beautiful thing, you know, when you have such control over some, someone you used to lust after. Can't beat that feeling. All right. All right. Come on. Let's get this over with. This is probably going to hurt a bit, but it'll be over in a flash. <laughs> Sorry, Ema. What? Just roll with it. Take the pain. Take it! Oh, you did a good job, B. You should be proud, but did you really think you had what it takes to carry through? I mean, Caitlin and me, we're Mickey and Mallory. We don't want to stop, but you were just too weak a link, bud. Don't be so sad, Jilly. If anything, we did you a favor. He was a good kid, but he didn't have what it takes for the big leagues. I mean, he's not us. Great threesomes, though. <laughs> Come on, let's finish her off. The cops will be here soon. We need to get our survivor faces on. <laughs> You okay? I've been shot. Right, okay. I need you to keep pressure right here. And I need you to hang on. Can you do that for me? It's a cop. What? It's the cop. Come on. You haven't figured it out yet. 
I mean, think about it. Who better to make it to the end than a blood relative <laughs> of Ryan Fenton? I mean, your uncle's just as much to blame for this as we are, Julie. If he'd have just died when he was supposed to have, then you wouldn't find yourself in this predicament. Oh, you're a nice girl, Julie. But you're a nicer victim. And a fucking great story. We got them. We got them. We got all the fuckers. We got them. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Get. What was that? Wait here. Shit, Julie. Looks like you're not the final girl after all. What the fuck? Well, well. What? She's gone. What do you mean she's fucking gone? She was stabbed her. Yeah, I thought that too, but she's not fucking here. She can't have gone far. Fuck! Well, what's going on? We found him. Who? Tommy Miller. He's back. Mm-hmm. He's been getting some kids in the hall. I don't know where he went. We should try to find him. Maybe we should just go to the car and radio it in. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the car. But, but why do people make it so easy, eh? Why does nobody put up a fight? 
I bet that for a fucking fight. Come on, Julie. Julie. Come on, don't be scared. So well. No, you won't. Listen, Tommy, Mother, Claudia. The police will be here soon. We should probably get ourselves. <laughs> 